Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance in a moment of silence. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Thank you. Please be seated. Thanks, Mr. Riso. Hey, Bulldogs. I'm Aiden Kelly. And I'm Carrington Andrade, and this is Code Blue. Chess will have their next meeting on October 4th from 2.15 to 3.30. See Mr. Tarnapol in the computer room, B236. Tuesday, October 2nd, members of the 84 Movement of Holbrook Middle High School will be hosting the Holbrook Cares Substance Abuse Coalition at 7 p.m. at Town Hall. This will be a youth-led discussion of the accomplishments of this group in the fight to combat addiction to tobacco and alcohol, also drugs, as well as future goals in this area. We invite all staff and students to attend this meeting. The 84 Movement would like to remind everyone that this is a tobacco-free campus. The College and Career Fair will be held next Friday, October 5th. Seniors will be invited to the STEAM Commons to spend an hour mingling with over 30 college admissions representatives. Don't worry, they know it's Spirit Week. Also, seniors, don't forget that FAFSA opens October 1st, 2018. Don't forget to apply. As you may know, the Sean Joyce Foundation is holding their first annual 5K and one mile walk on October 6th. Now let's hear a quick message from the Sean Joyce Foundation. Hi, I'm Debbie Joyce. And I'm Ryan Joyce, and we are founders of the Sean Joyce Memorial Foundation. My son and Ryan's brother, Sean, was a typical 13-year-old boy. He loved the outdoors, he loved sports. He loved golf and was a junior member at Thorny Lee Golf Club. We played Holbrook Little League together in basketball outside our house. One of our passions was landscaping. He wanted to own his own landscaping business when he grew up. Sean's passing was a complete shock to us because how can a healthy boy go from being perfectly healthy one day and after being bitten by a simple mosquito, contract Triple E and be taken from this life? Through this tragic loss, a foundation was established in Sean's memory. Since its inception, the foundation has built the Sean Joyce Foundation baseball field and walking track supplied the Sumner Field and all school fields with mosquito traps, donated money to support local sports teams, organized golf tournaments and dances for 10 years, helped to raise awareness for wearing bug spray, and we're most proud of giving over $100,000 in scholarship money to students continuing their education. Our latest efforts are to hold the first annual Sean Joyce Foundation 5K Run and One Mile Walk to be held at the Holbrook Middle High School track on Saturday, October 6th, starting at 9 a.m. Bibs can also be picked up on Friday night, October 5th, from 4 to 8 p.m. at the homecoming game. Registration begins at 8 a.m. on October 6th, or you can register online at sjoyce.racewire.com. The success of this race will enable the Foundation to continue to honor Shawnee's memory. Thank you for watching. Listen up, Bulldogs. Next week is homecoming. Homecoming is a celebration of school spirit and Bulldog pride, which includes spirit week, athletic contests, a pep rally, and a course of dance. On top of all that, canned food will be collected throughout the week to be donated to the Holbrook Food Pantry. It can be turned in before school at the ticket booth or at Shawnee Snack Shack during the athletic events. To start off spirit week, Monday will be matching Monday. Think about who you want to dress alike with. Tuesday is Telly Tuesday. Dress as your favorite TV, movie, or cartoon character. Wednesday is Washout Wednesday. Sixth graders will wear yellow, seventh graders orange, eighth grade green, ninth grade red, tenth purple, eleventh white, seniors black, and staff will wear pink. Thursday is Throwback Thursday. Dress in clothes throughout history. Think bell-bottom jeans and leisure suits. Finally, wrapping up the week on Friday, it will be Fanatic Bulldog Fan Friday. Wear your blue and white proudly. If you would like to order homecoming apparel, please bring your order forms and payment to Miss Gallagher ASAP. Friday shirts must be ordered today. Now let's take a quick look at the members of the homecoming court.
let's check in with our side to wrap up the volleyball's team. Hello everyone, this is Rasad Bingsley and I'm with Caitlin Andrews, Caroline Curtis. You know, Washington volleyball players, winning streak volleyball players, A1 volleyball players, number one team in the state. Well, yeah, <laughs> not yet. No, I'm just I'm not trying yet. to help y'all out. Okay. All right, Ginger. So, how's the season going? Season's going pretty good. We're on a winning streak, like you said. We have a strong group of girls who are like dedicated to play. All right, Carol. Do you think you guys will go far this year? Um, I believe with the way we're going, if we keep things up, we should have a pretty good season, pretty good overall record. Um, hopefully a home tournament game, good postseason, hoping to make it all the way, and yeah. <laughs> all right, people, that is it with the talk with Versailles. Mm -hmm. See you all next week. Thanks, Versailles. Throughout the week, there will be plenty of games to check out. Starting off, you can see the girls' soccer and the volleyball team play Monday. Then on Tuesday, you can check out the cross-country meet and boys' soccer. The boys' soccer team will then play again Wednesday, and the volleyball teams play again Thursday. Well, there's a lot happening this Friday. Not only should you wear your, your blue and white, but you should also bring your school spirit to all the games. Make sure to cheer on your teams. Starting at 3 p.m., volleyball will be taking place in the gym, and boys' soccer will be held on the turf. Following the games, there will be a rededication of Shawnee Snack Shack. At 5 p.m., the girls' soccer team will take the turf, followed by a banner parade. Finally, at 7 p.m., the football team will take the turf. If you get hungry while watching all of the excitement, don't worry. Stop by Shawnee Snack Shack, where all concessions will be sold at all games. Also, there will be one admissions charge for all games, $2 for students and senior citizens, and $5 for adults. We hope to see you all there. And to end a fantastic Bulldog Week, the homecoming dance will be held Saturday, October 6th for students in grades 9 through 12. Tickets will be on sale next week at lunches, Wednesday through Friday. Guest forms may be picked up in Ms. Gallagher's room or in the main office. Now for a quick 60 seconds with Jason. Six plus seven is 12 or are 12? It's 13. R12 is 12. Is 12. It's 13. What? R12? No, it's 13. That's why I said it. 13. No, it's wrong. Yeah, it's gonna smart. Yeah, boy. You let him get away with that? It's 13. <laughs> She's right. R. No, it's 13. No, it's R squared plus 12 and 1 is 13. PEMDAS, he's right. PEMDAS, is that a company? Yes. <laughs> Kyle's Peacock lays an egg in John's yard. Who owns the egg? Kyle. Peacocks don't lay eggs. Well, I don't know what my brain's doing. <laughs> Kyle's Peacock. Peacocks don't lay eggs. <laughs> John's yard. Peacocks don't lay eggs. Kyle and Joe. Peacocks don't lay eggs. Goofy. <laughs> John. Peacocks don't lay eggs. Peacocks don't lay eggs. <laughs> There's an airplane flying over United States and Canada, crashes right on the border. Then, Where do you bury, bury the survivors? Uh, at the border. You don't bury survivors. Have a nice this day, guy. Thomas. Have a great day. Really. Go to class now. That's it for us here at the studio. Have a fantastic homecoming week. I'm Carrington Andrade. And I'm Aiden Kelly. See you next Friday.